Hey everyone, I'm here with Jonathan Smitty of Robson's Diamond Jewelers, and he just finished an intense part two. We're taking a break right now, but he came in with a little bit of an advantage. He was a contestant last year, but also won part one of the competition. He found out this morning. So Jonathan, how did you prepare coming in from last year, coming in this year, but also coming in this morning, knowing that you won the first round? Well, I didn't know I won the first round until I got here, but uh, that makes me feel good, but it also puts pressure on. Um, you know, the contest is a little bit different last year versus this year. And, um, you know, you, you, you can't really prepare in a lot of ways. The best preparation you can have is get some sleep and try not to psych yourself out. Um, it's not working out so good on this one. Um, this contest, I didn't win this part last year. I won a different part, but, uh, yeah, I started out wanting to build a pair of chandelier earrings and now I'm down to a three stone pendant. So. So things change. Things you never change. know. In the middle, in the middle of going, you you just have to be able to chuck it and start over. So with this break that you have coming up, are you going to spend most of the time just kind of figuring out what you have left to do and just trying to finesse it, or kind of where's your mind at right now? I'm gonna eat lunch. <laughs> hey, you I'm need brain gonna fuel. Just gonna rest from it. Managed to burn my finger, and you know, real jewelers, you know. So for people who have never been a workshop or are thinking about doing the competition but may feel intimidated, what would you tell them? as to come here or maybe give it a try? I would definitely say come and give it a try. I've been coming to Stuller since 1997. This is probably my fourth or fifth trip here, my second time competing. Um, you know, whether it's at the seminars, at the bench, or at the bar later, you will get tons of little just bits and pieces to make your life better. Well, awesome. Even if it's how do you get bezels off of a mandrel. <laughs> well, best of luck and go get some lunch. Thanks. Thanks.